White guilt. Let's talk about it. And do you think, like, with white guilt, because uh, I think I think you're, I think people do different things with it, but yeah. but I think the 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 part that bothers me with with some friends or whatever is like they have white guilt, but they want to be um, absolved of it. Yes. They want black people to absolve them of their guilt, which I feel like is is not the point of it. But right. also, but no one likes feeling guilty. No one wants to feel like. Yeah. I understand that, but like, that's so much pressure to put on other people, and it doesn't. That's yeah. not what it should be about. But do, I mean, have you found that? I have actually. True? I think sort of related to what we were talking about before in the education piece of it. Right there is a. It's not my job to make you feel better about things that happen. Like these things happen, and they. Um, take it, do something with it or don't. Also in the same way that some people say, look, it's not my job to educate you on right. blackness. Go learn it on your own or talk to a different person. Not, I think one of the things, at least rarely, I don't often hear anyone say, don't bother learning this. I don't give a whether you learn or not. They just don't want to be the person, right? Mm -hmm. So when someone says, I don't want to be the first black person on your board, they're not telling you to not get black people on their board, on your board. They're saying they don't want to be it, right? right. Uh, what Idris Elba said in a public statement, I don't want to be the first black Bond. The amount of pressure to be the first black James Bond would be right, oh, insane. Yeah. He's totally right. That would be rough and, you know. Awesome. Awesome, so right? Cool. Yeah. Just change your mind, man. Yeah, Do please, it. It'd be great. Um, yeah. So I think that yeah. some of it is just that. It's just, it's hard. It's, yeah. It's really hard. But you're right. People don't want to walk around guilty all the time. Yeah. And so if there were, people are working on it. I think my personal thought is that if there is doing enough for you, right, you can give, vote well. I don't know add to reparations, whatever your list of things is that makes you feel better, like this family who found out granddaddy was a Nazi, they started doing a thing, yes, out of guilt, but also they're making the world better for themselves. Right. And I imagine that they can hopefully get to a point where they do enough to counter, at least for their own internal hmm. feeling about it, right? That they don't all go to their deathbed still riddled with guilt over a thing that they didn't do. Right. That's my hope. Right? right. Some people would disagree. They'd say, eat it. Eat all that guilt. Like, eat it for the next few generations and maybe things become totally even. They're also probably right, too. Right? Yeah. So, I, I just for me, I think it really comes down to where people are as individuals. And, you know, I hope for you one day that people go, you know what? I did great by my black friends. Like, I made the world better. I did the thing. I don't know. Do, I, do we ever feel like that with anything? But yeah. if we ever do, it would be good if people who feel that white guilt, who really are making a difference, that they maybe don't feel absolved. But I think it just is a, a matter of recognition and seeing it, right? Because absolution isn't necessarily needed. You didn't do it. Right. But it is countering this horrible thing that was done. And I think that's always our jobs. Our jobs as, as people, not just Americans, but people in general, is to try to make the world better from shit that we did before. Right. right? right. So, and unfortunately, racism, racism was some of the shit that we did before. Yeah. So I think we hopefully never stop trying to fix it. But maybe we don't go to bed beating ourselves up every night over it either. Right. Cheers to that. You know, that's a whole other thing. And also how background impacts that idea. Because if you grow up poor, you may have a different perspective versus somebody who grows up in wealth. Like how, or you grow up in a neighborhood that has no black people versus a neighborhood that, you know, five of your neighbors down the street are black and you all play together, right? Like how does that impact people's perspective of the we, right? Mm -hmm.